Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I'm doing paid reviews because I don't do shit for free. And welcome to the Poor Pluto channel. And whilst I've got your attention, let me draw you to the fact I'm running two channels. The Archie Luxury channel and the Poor Pluto channel. The Poor Pluto channel is my more serious channel, whereas Archie Luxury is buffoonery, mongering and luxury goods content. What a fucking crazy mix. Okay, this is an email that came in for Steve. Steve, this is for a review of the 2015 Rolex Oyster Perpetual 39mm. Let me know your thoughts, big boy. Well, Steve, that's a really good question. What do I think of the 39mm Oyster Perpetual? I gotta say, I love it. I really do love an Oyster Perpetual. I mean, this basically, what we're talking about is an automatic Rolex. It's an automatic Rolex. And it's, um... Yeah, the cupboard's a bit bare. I'm going to bangers, fuckers. It's an automatic Rolex with no date. The Oyster Perpetual. And I gotta say... I gotta say, fuckers, I do like the Oyster Perpetual. Simple, no bullshit, no mucking around. It's really cool stuff. 39mm is a great size. The only problem is, as he said, 2015, it's too new. It's for newbies. Newbies. So what worries me is that these watches at the new extreme are so close to the retail replacement price that I think you'd want to get bang per buck. And I'd like to say Rolex Explorer 2. That is a, get a 10 year old one of these, that is bang per buck. Bang per buck. So I prefer my bang per buck. I don't mind. I gotta say, the 39mm Oyster Perpetual is perfect. Yes, I love it. However, Tugging at my heartstrings is the Rolex Explorer 1. 39 mil. That is a stunner. Absolute stunner, fuckers. Absolute stunner. That's what I call a really cool piece. And if we're talking cool, the no date sub starts to sneak in. Love the, love the clean dial on that. And if we're talking funky, funky, play that funky music, fuckers. Milgauss, Milgauss, white dial, black dial, blue dial. There's so many variations. Surely the Milgauss with that, play that funky music, white boy. You know, with that second hand, that is such a cool piece. So, I do love the Oyster Perpetual 39mm. Clean, crisp, minty, minty, minty. However, buying a 2015, I think the bang per buck isn't so good. The bang per buck, bang per buck, fuckers, isn't so good. I'd also really look at the Milgauss, the Explorer 1... No date sub. And I love me Oyster Perpetual. I do. An Oyster Perpetual is like a Mercedes E200. Okay, it's a mid-size, but it's the poverty pack version. Instead of getting that, wouldn't we like a nice G-Class Benz? Or a CLS? What do you think, fuckeroonies? What do you nasty fuckers think? 39 mil, it's too new, you're paying a premium. I don't like it. I like me discounts, fuckers. I like my discounted goods. So, uh, I think 39 mil is cool. I love it. But, ah, uh, I'd be yearning for a sports watch, you know? I, I think, I think the Ex Explorer 1 is just so cool. It is cool! Fuck is cool! Cool, cool, cool! Cool as a cucumber. So, 
There you go. That's Archie's advice. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid.